Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are actually doing a setup review slash tutorial overview thing. I'm not exactly sure um, what I'm going to be calling this, but overall what this is, is we're going to be going over some setups from different sites. Um, these are like full server setups. So this one is going to be a Skyblock server setup. So if you're interested in starting a Skyblock server and you don't want to make it all yourself, setups are normally what people end up doing. Um, there's a lot of different opinions around setups and I'm not going to get into those. I'm just going to be reviewing some of them. This was highly requested by many users of our community, so I would like to finally bring this to everyone on the channel. Uh, thank you to everybody who suggested I review different products. Thank you to all the authors right, uh, reaching out to me about different setups I should review. I do have a list of them I'm going to be going through to review. Um, I'm going to try to hit every single type of game mode around, um, and I'm just going to go down a list of the people who contacted me first, so thank you to this user for suggesting it to me. Anyway, this one is going to be a Skyblock setup. So what this does, um, you get these five spawn islands and it's all set up for you and all you really have to do is configure the server to your liking um, in my case I'm gonna keep it as the default server and I'm gonna go through some of the configuration steps with you on what you should do um, but pretty much to install this all you got to do is download the file once you get the resource you're gonna download the file and then you're gonna get this um, folder and this is gonna be the folder with all of the files in it by default you have to start.sh and the start.run.bat you're gonna start whatever one is on your operating system start.sh is for Linux start.bat or run.bat is for windows um, you should always read the readme before actually playing so in here you have to install citizens to have npcs around spawn if you want they are optional you get these two um uh, premium resources which you can install to and it will automatically have the configure files and hook in then you just connect on 25566 um, and you can change it in your server.properties depending on what you do on your server and then to personalize and set up um, you should change the database info for holographic displays to switch it to your own database you should probably edit the title manager and the boss bar messages this is just to switch these up here which say the store.example um, this would be highly suggested especially because it is a setup so all of those things are added for you. So what you have to do is you guys have to go into the configure file and we'll, I'll just explain this real quick. We're gonna go into the configure file of each one of these. Let's go to title manager. So we'll find the one that says title manager. And then inside you just go to the config.yml and then in here you can edit the messages to be what you're like. So you're gonna change all these example.com to whatever your messages you want to be on your server because it is technically your server now because you have the setup. Um, boss bars, message of the day, other message of the day. This is like for your main server list message messages, you got your hoppers, menus, edit.server.properties, and replace the thing with your own. Um, it goes over some of the common problems and things you can solve there. Um, and then we are in. So this is what it looks like when you are in the server. I'm going to just go ahead and switch over to Minecraft view here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so this is what it looks like when you join in. You have nice particle effects, which I really like how that is done. Uh, you got high needles, welcome to Skyblock, create your island. Um, you can use these uh, info to contact us. Um, so pretty much what setups are is they give you a full system of uh, a server. So they, this is like a full server. You could technically drop and release this right away, but you don't really want to do that. So when you get a setup, what you kind of want to do is you kind of want to hop in and then remake it to your own type of server. So if you, um, let's say you want to make it a customizable, like um, cool skyblock server, then what you could do with this, uh, this type of setup is you download the setup, then you can go ahead and um, use it and just customize it to your own liking. Now, I really like how you've done the hub here, and I kind of, um, you get your daily rewards, which is also very, very cool. Um, one thing I do like are these jump pads. Now, I like this on every single one of the servers I actually play on. Um, I know they kind of come from the high pixel type um, idea where you get thrown around depending on what island you're on, but I do like that on like pretty much every uh, server. I really, really enjoy that. In terms of your shops and stuff, you can see it's very, very, very well set up in terms of this. Um, most setups do do this where you can jump around and do stuff. Um, I do like your crates though. This is different than most setups I've seen in the past as these are different types of crates. I do have a starter key, so I guess I can right click to unlock that. Let's choose four crates. One, two, three, four. I do like how you do this. It's not your typical like right click and you just open a crate. You have a little bit more customization. Custom prize, custom prize, custom prize. Click, 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 click. Maybe add like a button that says click here. Um, and then I get all these. Very, very nice. Um, I do have a daily as well. So we can right click and go claim our daily. Um, let's see what we're going to get. We're going to get a legendary enchant. And I guess that will... Uh, 
Reward legendary. Nice. So I got a legendary enchant. Um, welcome, Skyblock book original. What I would do is maybe make this um, fix this book tag, so you can just go ahead and put that in your main area here. Um, that is toward the resource author. I can you can always update a setup to add and fix stuff. So I would recommend doing that. Same thing with bounce back of crates. Either if you own the setup, you can disable this yourself, or if you are the resource author, uh, you may want to disable bounce back. I always say these in all my reviews, regardless if it's a server review or anything, um, because that's what I just recommend doing. Um, I would also disable fire damage and spawn that would be another thing I would add to this setup um, same with bottle of enchanting you shouldn't be able to use it at spawn that's just my personal opinion though because a lot of players actually like using them at spawn but that's just my personal opinion um, we're gonna hop over here we got the auction and uh, you got kit preview so I'm guessing oh I'm teleporting so I like your teleportation thing oh, okay this is pretty cool I like how you have these set up that's actually a really nice um, idea what i would do though is change the floor to a different type of block but that's just my personal um opinion click to go back oh i'm teleporting okay i see i i'm i'm in a rush and i'm just bypassing where i'm looking i got the jail over here so if you jail players with the jail command they would probably end up down here uh yep they would end up in the cage you got the police i'll take care of the i like those types of interactions that's really cool but you're missing punctuation at the end of the um like title there uh hoppers and upgrades are available over here through the npcs great job of keeping your npcs pretty um common with the colors inside of them that's a great thing to do disco and bar hmm let's go see what this is i'm interested hi bob i'm guessing you're the bouncer permanent access price 100 uh okay let's go ah so this is like a dj i do oh you can collect what uh song you want to play that's pretty cool you got your bar all your effects that's pretty cool i really really like that uh Lo the love table <laughs> okay that's actually pretty cool so keep up the good work with building things like this because this makes it a little bit more entertaining for players um and it's you can see i've already saved there that's pretty cool as well uh what do you have over there mission minions quests and stuff we'll go over there in a moment i want to try to get to this vip zone um i may not have permission for that let's see nope you have to not have permission so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna opt myself so i get all my permissions um and then i can go uh no i can't I don't have permission to do that. Apparently, I actually need to give myself permission, but I'm just going to not give myself permission and just jump over here. You got your VIP club, so I'm guessing this is like your main um, like club area. Uh, hello, welcome. Um, so I can come down here. Hey, and then you got a DJ. So this is like your private club for VIP members. I kind of like how you have that going. Um, all right, let's jump back. Let's go ahead and see what else we can come up with over here. So I'm guessing I can just um, normally just teleport back, but I'm just going to fly because I'm in creative and bypassing that. Um, let's go ahead and check out your minions and other areas at spawn. I really like how you have this gigantic spawn. That looks really, really nice. So keep up the good work with that. Uh, quests. You got your quest for building. You got your banker. So I'm guessing uh, balance, withdrawal, bank, interest, 4% daily. Wow. <laughs> Which that was actually like real life. Minions. Um, oh, so these are like mining minions and stuff. Okay, so this is kind of, you're going with like the high pixel idea. So I kind of got that from the jump pads, but now that I see minions in the banker, that kind of comes to mind again. So that's actually really cool. Um, the only thing I would do is make sure you have enough difference. So high pixels, like, you're not, you're copying me, don't do this. Um, nice type. So you got G kits for your warriors, archer knights. Very cool. All right, so I'm just going to run the island command. Let's go in and check it out. Let's do teleport to your island. Uh, you do not have an island. So can I do is create? I forgot the command to create islands. Uh, start an island right there. Uh, create island, mushrooms, desert, ice, double? What's double? I uh, don't know. Let, let's just, let's do double. I, I like the idea of double islands. All right, we're in. Okay, very nice. Some of your wheat and stuff kind of popped off of the ground when I teleported, but I'm guessing because that's what I was jumping or something. So I would look into that if um, you can, and I would also make sure you can disable the default achievements in Minecraft. You can do that in the server.properties file. Um, if you own the setup, you can do that, or if this resource author wants to do it as well. That would be something I would look into. Um, down here, it looks like you have custom like ideas for your islands and stuff, so you don't just have the default island, um, which is really, really cool. So I always recommend servers have it so you don't have just the default island because the default island can just get messy sometimes and a lot of players are so used to it they um they don't really um like that that much so i'm glad you have the uh, custom island that actually looks really really nice um i'm guessing we just get back with slack spawn 
yes. Okay, so that teleports me back to the main spawn. Um, but overall, it seems like you have this really well set up. I mean, it seems like this could be a very, very nice server if it's customized enough. Now, I do want to make this clear to everybody watching. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. I'm not saying you should go buy this plugin and, or setup. I'm just going over what's in it. Um, but one thing I would recommend and make very clear to every single person watching this video is you should, if you are buying a setup, configure it enough so it's custom for your server. You should not just buy one of these things, even though it's like a fully set up server here and you got like your whole Skyblock server set up here. You shouldn't buy this and just throw it on the server and release it. That's not what you should do. If you are planning to buy one of these setups, you should buy it and then go ahead and um, release it with customization. So you should pretty much change a significant portion to make sure it's like your server. Um, and if I wasn't in school, I would so give an example of that here. And I do apologize for not giving an example of it. I just don't have the time. But um, buttons, rules. So you can put your custom rules in chat. Help. I love your help message there. Island opens the menu. The menu opens the main menu panel. So you can see your info, settings, uh, kits, key kits, quests, warps. Warps opens these, so you can go home, quests, PvP, bank, kits preview, jail, upgrades, VIP zone, disco. We'll go to PvP real quick. Inside or outside? We'll go inside the PvP arena. Next um, event will be in 44 minutes. Make um, You have an extra N, I think, or Envoy, I don't, I don't know. Oh, so this is like PvE type um, stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm going to die. I don't have any stuff. I should have probably came more prepared. Ah, uh, well, I'm dead. Um, that's pretty cool, though. I really like how you have that set up. Um, I'm gonna get the god kit, just, just to do that a little bit easier. I'm gonna try to kill one of them before we end this video. That's, that's my goal. Okay. Um, so, these are very powerful beings, clearly. Um, maybe add, like, levels for these, and I'm guessing you're supposed to be here with, like, a team. Um, that's my guess. You're supposed to be here. Oh my god. You're supposed to be in this arena, like, with a team or something. And maybe make it so you have multiple different arenas. I think that would work out quite well. Um, but that's just my personal suggestion for this. Um, they are really not wanting to die. I don't know how much health they you gave these guys, but they seem to be having a little bit too much health. So what I would recommend doing is maybe making it so they have a little bit less health or have some type of health bar so you can tell what health they're on. Um, so I don't have to swing like a madman constantly. Um, that would be my suggestion. Uh, but that's just my personal suggestion. Um, but overall, very nice server, very nice setup. Obviously, I'm in. I guessing you can't normally do that, but since I'm off, I can just teleport away. Um, but keep working on it. I think you can have great success with this. Um, and if you're interested in it, the link will be down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, to the author, thank you for inviting me to check it out yourself. Myself. Um, it looks pretty cool resource page looks great as well so i can't uh, imagine you would have problems getting sales with this um i think it's really well set up but anyway personal opinion obviously i'm not sponsored or anything so uh thank you to the resource author for giving this to me um and letting me review it and i will see you in tomorrow's video for the next video we'll have another one of these types of setup reviews later this week or next week um we'll see you soon see you next time